speed. The Modern Language Association, or MLA, has developed what has become the style of choice for formatting papers in the humanities. This tutorial will show you how to set up your MLA style document in Microsoft Word. First, let's start with a new document. Go to Page Setup and change the margins. Microsoft Word defaults to one and a quarter inches, but MLA style requires one inch margins. You can set the margins in the File Page Setup dialog. If your teacher does not specify a font, 12 point Times New Roman is a safe choice. Now let's set the header. Type your name, your professor's name, your class and section. You also need the date, which you can add from the insert menu. Choose the format with a plain number for the day, the month spelled out, and the year. And there should be no punctuation in between. However, MLA style requires double spacing. You can set it in the Format Paragraph dialog box. Your paper needs a title. It goes on the next line, so hit the Enter key just once. Now it must be centered. Your essay's introductory paragraph starts in the very next line, so hit the Enter key once. Do not add an extra line. Now it will have to be aligned left. You also need to indent the first line of your paragraph one half inch. Microsoft Word allows you to set the indent by hitting the tab key or by dragging the indent on the ruler. Once you set the indent, Word will give you the same size indent each time you hit the enter key. Let's paste an essay body into the document so we will have something to work with. Notice that new paragraphs are indicated by indents alone, not by spaces between paragraphs. You may have gotten used to the look of spaces between paragraphs on web pages, but in print the standard is still the indent. Now let's add page numbers. Page numbers go in the document header. Anything that goes in the document header is repeated on all pages. The only thing that goes in your document header is your last name and the page number one space, one space later. Don't manually number your pages. Word automatically paginates. Now let's put the automatic page numbers in. You can do this from the insert menu or from the view header and footer menu item. Let's do it from the view header and footer menu item. First, hit the Align Right button. Now, hit the pound sign on the menu. Now, type your last name. By inserting page numbers, no matter how long your paper gets or how many times you change it, the page, num page numbers will always be right. If you are writing a research paper, you will need a works cited page, which is often called a bibliography. It is a list of the works you quoted, paraphrased, summarized, or relied upon for ideas. The works cited page comes at the end of your paper, but it has to be on a page by itself. Let's add a page break so the beginning of it will always be at the top of the last page rather than shifting its position as you edit. The works cited page also has a special indent style. The indents are the opposite of the rest of the paper. For each works cited, the first line is flush left, while the following lines are indented a half an inch. Study hard, write well, and good luck with your paper. This tutorial was created to help writers conform to MLA style as presented in the MLA Handbook for Writers of Research Papers, 6th edition, available at mla.org.